Hey, good morning. I'm out here picking some trash. I think this is bonafide aluminum. That's right. I like this screen door. I do, I do. Oh, it has brass. No way. Actually, this is a steel door. Hmm. Yeah, hence the rust. And the, the weight. <laughs> it's digging in and making noise. more pieces in here I did saw a few more pieces there's glass not taking it it's <sighs> crazy hmm. wait I think this is an aluminum awning I can just snap tool it into place and snap some shoes too. Wonderful. Thanks, Snap Tool. All right. I'm going to be driving a little quick down Lincoln Highway. So, yeah. I left my light on. Oops. All right, my goal is to uh, get the aluminum off the truck. Uh, so when I find more steel, that aluminum, that light stuff just isn't. Stuff looks like aluminum but it's not oh, so that stuff is not aluminum but all that stuff is aluminum that came out of the back of the truck that's significant very nice remember to turn the lights out paul I got tricked. Wow, I thought that was a basketball hoop. Nice. I so appreciate a scrap-friendly neighborhood, scrap-friendly community. Seriously. And this stuff's pretty beefy. That bicyclist went by so fast. Zoom. Zoom, zoom, zoom. I don't know about in your area, but in my area today, hey, hey. And in my area, it's the first day of school. Scrapper. Nice. Dude. Brother! Ah. You might remember last week, this house had a piano, um, half a piano in the trash. Well, today I think it's the other half. I just wanted to take a quick look. Hmm. Hey, there's some metal. I didn't notice that. Ebony and Ivory. I want one of these. And I want one of these. Can I get it off? Can. Cool. Is that beyond cool or what? This is like that. 
ding 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 it's a half step la 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 <laughs> that metal grabbed me. That is cool. I don't know why I like it. So these are wood. Yeah. I wonder how old it is. Now that I look at it a little closer, that could be ivory on the very top of the uh, a veneer. Don't really know. Are these numbered? Definition of glycosylation. Here's the definition of glycosylation. The controlled enzymatic modification of an organic molecule, especially a protein, by addition of a sugar molecule. Yeah. I'm listening to the Huberman podcast with Dr. Lane, Lane Norton, and uh, woo, the words that they are using, man, I can't figure it out. Where you have higher fasting blood glucose, it's going to be very reflective of the overall 24 hour area under the curve, right? So, why did they see, why do some of these studies see a little bit better improvement in lowering fasting blood glucose, whereas HbA1c doesn't show up? Well, think about it. If somebody is early time restricted feeding and they finish most of their food intake before what is going on here? I see a lamp, I see a board. Hmm. Looks good, but it ain't. Hi Rufus. <laughs> There's Rufus's. Or is it Ruvi? <laughs> I'm thinking I'm gonna have to change my routine. And I, I'm a guy that likes my routine. I like the way I do it. But with scrapping, you know, my other my main scrapyard has been closed uh, and I'm not sure why um, I texted Michael and just asked if he was alright he said yeah and, um, but regardless my main scrapyard is closed I've been going to my the other scrapyard which is I don't know 10 miles further away and there's a lot more scrappers out so I might need to shift my scrapping and normally I like scrapping in, in the day. Um, I might have to do some evening scrapping and some night scrapping. Uh, I might have to uh, not go to the scrapyard every day. And that's been my thing too, is that I'll go to the scrapyard every day, get my, you know, 30, 40, 50 bucks, whatever it is. You know, go to the grocery store, grab a few items, you know, so I'm always, I don't have a lot of stuff at the house and because I don't like to store a lot of food at my house because you know things start to go bad and it drives me nuts to throw away food i just so i would rather shop more often smaller shops and that dovetails nicely with how i scrap that i go to the scrapyard every single day just about so but with all these scrappers are like right now i'm almost done with my route and i have i don't know eight dollars of steel of shred steel scrap in the back of my truck um yeah I, I have that aluminum at my shop which i can just reload uh, but i'd rather make one aluminum run you know with one of the teenagers or twin teens whatever you want to call them uh, the bottom line is that my way ain't working anymore i need your help when I was stationed on my very first Coast Guard cutter, my Coast Guard ship, the commanding officer brought me into the cabin. And he said, 
<laughs> you know, he's a super cool. He was an old salty captain too. And uh, I mean, he had 20 year sea time, stuff like that. So he just said, hey, um, you're aboard my ship right now. You have a clean set of eyes that you don't know how we do things. And you'll see something that is off uh, before we do because we just do things the way we've always done them. And I don't like that. And I want you to be able to tell me or tell your, uh, your petty officer or your chief petty officer uh, or your, your division chief, um, hey, this, this looks a little unsafe or this might be a problem. So I'm going to use that same thought process that my first commanding officer had and ask you, what do you think I should do differently in my scrap business? You've seen all my videos. You've seen how I do things. Should I, you know, do more evening scrapping? Should I uh, go to the scrapyard once a week, you know, with a completely packed truck? Uh, should I do more runs just to my house to drop off uh, steel? Um, should I focus on non-ferrous? Should I do more resale? And I'm asking you because you see things from a different perspective than I do. That is scrapper evidence. That's like a carpet cleaner or something like that container. And the scrapper probably grabbed the carpet cleaner. So ironic. When the student is ready, the teacher will appear. <laughs> I just heard a, a, a comment in one of the podcasts that I'm listening to. And huh, that's nice and Christmassy. That might be keepable. Uh, as we'll just leave it the way it is. The the phrase that I just heard is that the magic that you are looking for, the the secret to the hack, is in the work. That might be applicable here. I need to just stay consistent and just do the work. With my scrapping business, more consistency. With my nutrition, more consistency. With my workouts, more consistency. Um, just stay on target. Stay on target. We're too close. Stay on target. Man, that's a beefy box fan. Say that seven times fast. <laughs> Is that my first clip cord today? I think so. Yeah, I think that is resale. I do, I do. <gasps> that looks fun. Okay. Oh, Livy's gonna have a pool to play in. <laughs> you know, I forgot to bring my target bag is, bags in from yesterday. My attention deficit is pinging. What? This will go to the bike couple. Olivia's a big dog, she needs a bigger pool. Camshaft. Even though this aluminum probably would be a, a decent amount to take to the scrapyard. I'm gonna hold off on that and go for a little bike ride. Hey, give me all your money. I probably shouldn't joke like that. It's like making jokes in an airport. They frown. 
upon that stuff. All right, what I want to do is go underneath this bridge. Because this has all been redone, new bridge. They even like redid the whole parking lot for them. Uh oh. My brakes are squeaky. Does this mean I'm not allowed down here? Rules. It's for other people. This might not turn out so well. Um, hey, is that scrap? Oh, hey. Is that going to turn into something? Probably. Beep, 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 beep. Hmm. Yeah. They had drove those pylons in, I don't know, for weeks. I see little minnows in here. Oh, that's a branch of the Kishwaukee Kishwa 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 River. So I imagine there's going to be some wildlife. Ooh, this was muddy at some point. Someone got stuck under here. Probably a dude on this bike. Puffy's had a, had a rough few days, I think. A few weeks. Alright, let's see if my lithium battery can Pull me up the hill. I'm going 10 miles an hour. Going 11 miles an hour. Huh. Yeah, I think I think my brake, my brake uh, disc is clicking. Huh. I think this got redone. Over here is where I had that when I was riding my trike. Um, it uh, that's where I fell. They tried riding the trike on this little hill right here. Boom! I just tumbled right across because on a bicycle, you know, you'll stay upright, but on a trike because it has two back wheels, you'll tilt. And my body just went now, What's the etiquette here? Do I, do I say I'm going to pass on the left? May I pass on the left? Thank you. Is that how you do it? I mean, communication occurred, so... Yeah, that doesn't look so good. I mean, I don't know, there's some biodiversity there, but I don't know if that's optimal with an algae bloom like that. Is it plume or bloom? I think it's bloom because it's plant life. Hmm, my front wheel's making some funny noises. So this is the University, Northern Illinois University. That's the engineering building right there. The student center is that big pillar. I don't even know if my camera is straight. My camera is straight? I can't tell. But I do see a dumpster over there. Really what I'm doing is clearing my mind. How I want to have this scrap operation in the future. Because now the scrap yard that I'm using is 10 miles from my house. Before my scrap mile <laughs> scrap yard was half a mile from my yard, from my house, and a half mile from my workshop. So it's just right there. I can just go to the scrap yard as easy as I can just drive to my house. So um, yeah. I just need to think, how do I want to go about the business? 
Hey, there's Steve. Yeah, I told you about Steve. He's always riding his bike. And he's, I don't know, 20, 25 years older than me and just completely fit. And he, he's retired and uh, he rides his bike. I don't even know. 500 miles a month, something like that. All right, let's chase Steve down. Let's see what he's up to. I know what he's up to. He's, in, he's doing. He's doing life. He's living his best life. Yeah, I gotta check out whatever that tick 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 sound is. I don't know what it is. Slow down, yeah. And he's 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 on a regular bicycle. I'm on an e-bike. All right. I can sneak up on him. He doesn't even know. Uh oh. What's up? Good to see you out. Yeah, man. What are you up to? Still not much. Yep. So, yeah. how, how many miles a month do you think you ride? Let me see. Probably 500. That's totally what I was thinking. Yeah. I was thinking 500. about 500. Yeah. Figure 120 a week, you know, and 100 maybe more. Wow. Yep. Okay. You enjoying this, uh, the nicer weather, the low humidity? Yeah. The, well, it says it's supposed to get warm this afternoon, but we got clouds rolling in. So yeah. That'll help. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Well. You betcha. Well, cool, man. All right, I don't want to let you cool down too much, no, but I just want to okay. stop by and, okay. and see you. Yeah, you got, uh, man, you're all decked out there. Yeah, yeah, I got the, the scrap mobile. Okay. So, but I, I do have some some clunking and, and noises happening here. Right. And like with all machinery, it usually gives us warnings before it breaks down. Okay. With sound. Bearings so. will give you a click. Yeah, and, and I think I actually the the disc brake is giving me a, a click. So I'm not exactly sure. You ever try to drop oil maybe in there or? I haven't, I've not done anything. I would try that, see what happens. Okay. That, that's too new, you shouldn't have bearings going out, I think. Well, I don't know, it's, it's two years old. Now, Paul, you got this thing here, is this a fence? Uh oh, you no, might... no, no, that's part of the- uh, Okay, I this... was gonna say. Yeah. It might be hitting on that, but. It could be. No, it's not. No, it's that, no that's a change. Part of the fender. Fender, okay. Yep. I'm looking at. And we're good. I can't see nothing wrong with the spokes. Yeah. What I would do, get yourself a cover for that. Okay, for the... Because if not, what happens, moisture gets in there. Right. It'll freeze that little poppet valve in there. Yeah, and then I'll start getting some leaks. Yep, you, well, what it'll do, then you can't put air in it either. Uh, you know, I don't want so that to happen. I would get a cap on that. Okay. Yeah, I learned the hard way. All right, Steve, it's good seeing you. Go get moving. Are you yes, going to pick up trash? I don't know what I'm going to do. We'll, we'll see. Wait, I, I'm well, an opportunist, so. Set up for it. Yeah, if I see something good, I'll grab it. Okay, see you later. Oh. Yeah, this is the sad part. There was a, there was a tragic event that occurred at Northern Illinois University. <laughs> that right here. What, 10, 12 years ago? Something like that, 15 years ago. Let's take this bridge. Whee! Well, I think I'm not gonna go to the scrapyard that stuff there. I'm, I'm going to take the steel off at my house and I'm going to save that aluminum. I'm going to take out a piece of paper, a legal pad, and a pencil, and I need to do some thinking of how I want to do my operation, my scrap operation. And I'm going to read the comment section uh, and, and listen to you. Um, your advice is absolutely valuable. Um, even if you've never done scrap, even if you've, all you've done was get some ideas, because all ideas are generated in the mind. And your ideas could be the, the idea that I need, that I need to hear. 
So thanks for hanging out with me. Thanks for being a part of. And uh, yeah, this ticking sound, I'm not sure what's going on with it, but I think I need to do some looking at this. Thanks for hanging out with me. Just be awesome, stay awesome, do your thing, be you. Be you -er than you. Just like I say, be you times two. That's a tranquility spot right there. Nice. Going 16 miles an hour, 17. 18, 19, 19.5, 20, 20.4.